Hey everyone, uh, today's video will be me putting my equipment into my rack. As you can see, I got pretty much everything set up except for what I plan on getting for these uh, particular sections on the rack and down here. Uh, everything's pretty much done for now and time to get the money together for set parts. I hope y'all enjoy the video and if you like it, press like. See y'all in a bit. I noticed about the rails that you get from Roswell and the Roswell case and all their nice equipment for servers. I originally had it mounted perfectly with these lines here. However, it wound up having the top of the case come here instead of where I wanted it. Come to find out, I have to mount some like this in order for it to properly mount on here. Uh, just a tip for anyone who decides to go with Roswell equipment, which I'll be posting a link in the description on where you can get all of that. through a bunch of wood so I've been trying to keep my equipment clean while keeping it running. I suggest you never do that because there's a chance you could damage something. It is better that you disconnect everything, move it all out of the way, figure out how you're going to put things and then assemble all hardware, well hardware, and uh, then put all your computer equipment back into your rack. Uh, Remember, I'll be posting a link on YouTube uh, exactly where you can get this for about 200 bucks. It's 25 views. I'm five foot five, and this thing is almost as tall as me. So, pee. Uh, it's only about last I checked, forty dollars more than the 12 U4 post, uh, and this gives you a little over double double of what you would get. Once again, my speech is messed up due to the fact that I had my teeth pulled. It's mostly healed, but I have to have the other two front pulled to get a partial plate bolted into my mouth. Uh, wound up eating something from a fast food joint and snapping my teeth in half. Eat. I didn't feel it, but trust me, you can't explain how it sounds in your skull when you break something unless you've experienced it. Anyways, now that the mini rant's over, uh, it comes with the necessary mounting hardware so that you don't have to buy cage, uh, cage nut bolts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it comes with a lot of these for cable management, but I still zip tie these to make it look cleaner. Uh, I'm still slowly switching over all the computers in the house over to Gigabit, but the primary ones that I use for all my YouTube stuff, my gaming and equipment, well, gaming computers, is now running on the Gigabit Network. I still have to get the Xbox One, the 360, the Classic, which I run through a specialized program on my computer, so I can still get on some version of Live that a bunch of people made. Uh, and 
I'll just tell you exactly where I'm put, what I'm putting where. This switch will now be going up here because it has the room for the wires to pass through nice and easy. Uh, the 4U NAS system that I built will be going right here. I plan on putting a KVM switch right here on number 24. Number 23 will house a uh, special brand new, well, brand new with how my channel is built, PF sense rig. It will be er everything pretty much socket either 478 again or socket 775. Uh, running PFSense 2.3, I think is the latest model. Uh, I'm currently running an off little 478, the IBM case you all saw me build. Uh, which is now down there. Wires come out the back and through my walls. My landlord's going to kill me. Please don't kill me, Mr. Landlord. Um, but yeah, these are nice and strong. Able to hold up to, I think it said 200 pounds. Uh, yes, always keep your documentation. And it does not say in the documentation. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, that's what I plan on doing. KVM, PF Sense, no, K the, the Switch, the KVM, the PF Sense, the NAS, and then there will be another for you down here that will have about another 32 terabytes of storage all for media of any type pictures movies tv shows home movies uh books so that way people can get on a web browser and read them and even download them if they wish yes i pay for the uh so-called royalty to do that as long as it's not mass produced and most of it's fan fiction anyways fan fiction is the best thing in the world if you don't got money um completely cable managed everything for the monitor. The reason I want to get a KVM switch is so I can switch between all three servers if I ever need to work on them. I might eventually move something down so I can put a uh, little drawer thing here so that I can have my keyboard there. Uh, but y'all get to see me continue working. See you in a bit. today's video of me mounting my server hardware this take was shot today uh, I don't know if I did a quick reminder in the beginning of the video but this is my switch right here gigabit why I want is for going to my PS sense rig the rest the rest of the blues are for the computers and gaming cons consoles the gray boots are for the access points up here is that ebook server made from a laptop, so instead I'm the only one that pretty much trades in this house. It really doesn't need anything more powerful. Uh, eventually the plan I'm putting a new type of PF sensor rig in here using socket 775 ITX board and a 2U server chassis. And then down here will be one more 
for you run a on server case set up with uh, the ability to back up the entire house and it's going to be my media server a it'll have four no eight four terabyte hard drives in it leading up to 32 terabytes of storage for media and this will just become a normal backup solution hope y'all enjoyed today's video press like if you liked it dislike if you didn't if you disliked it please explain why you disliked my video uh, so see y'all later.